हेलो स्टूडेंट एंड टुडे इज गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सिंपल प्रॉब्लम ऑन पैरेलल फोर्सेस एंड कपल्स एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन क्लास पैरेलल फोर्सेस व्हाट इज द पैरेलल फोर्सेस एंड द टाइप ऑफ पैरेलल फोर्सेस देन आल्सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द कपल्स सो here today we are going to discuss about the uh, simple problem on the parallel forces and couples so what is the parallel forces we have know that if we draw this like force suppose one force here and one another force here if the direction force like that here here you can see that is take one force and take another force here the direction of the force if one force here and one force here if the direction force are the same then is called the likely parallel force if the direction force is different but here one direction is upward and another force is downward direction but this type of force is called the unlike parallel force this is the unlike parallel force this is the unlike parallel force unlike parallel force and this one is the like parallel force so like or unlike here today is going to discuss about the problem on the today is one kind of the like parallel forces how can i find out the magnitudes at the resultant forces here the diagram we can see that the diagram a and b is the two forces in the same direction that means it is the likely parallel forces then how can i find out the resultant forces of this kind of load conditions so let's see here we can see that this force point a is 50 newton is downward direction and 100 newton is also downward direction if the two like parallel forces 150 and 100 newton act at the end of the rod end of the rod and 360 mm long how much distance from the length of the rod is 360 then find out the magnitude of the resultant forces and the point where is act then what is the resultant force and the location of the resultant force so find out the resultant and how much resultant and locations locations is the very important where the resultant force act on the rod here we can see that if the two forces is acting in the same directions so is also the uh, downward also the downward so we can easily understand the resultant force acting in in the directions also downward so therefore the resultant force resultant force acting in downward directions downward downward directions it is understand then where the locations so how can i find out the locations so here you can see that there is a force and if if, if we will take a moment about any point say point a or point b or point c then according to the law of moment we can easily find out the location of the resultant force so let's see how can i find out the resultant of the force if let's see at a distance suppose take a distance let take a distance here suppose uh, there is the distance x from a to c let's see the distance a to c is equal to x that where the resultant force acting then how much distance b to c 
and B to C equal to uh, three sixty minus of x. Three sixty minus of x mm. Then take the mm. Unit 360 mm, and let take a moment. If we take a moment according to the law of moment, anti-clockwise moment according to the law of moment, anti-clockwise moment equal to the clockwise moment. If we take this one is the clockwise moment. If we take this one is the clockwise moment, and then it will take the this one is the anti-clockwise moment. So according to the law of moment, we can take the Moment and equating them, then find out the value of x where the resultant force acts. So total resultant force is equal to how much? Here we can see that if the directions is the same, then resultant force, the magnitude of the resultant force is equal to how much? The magnitude of resultant force is equal to how much? 50 is also downward, and 100 also the downward directions. Then what is the value of 50? Plus this one fifty point A and point B is hundred. So hundred plus fifty is equal to one fifty. So so therefore the magnitude of the resultant force is equal to how much? One fifty newton. Then find out the locations. Then take a moment taking. So it taking a moment. Taking a moment. About point. Where we can take a moment. Taking a moment about point. C here. Take a moment about point C. Then you can here write a moment about point C about point C. So therefore, fifty into x. Therefore, this one equal to this one. We will take if this one take is the anti-clockwise moment and this one take is the clockwise moment. Then is equal to hundred into hundred into three sixty because length of the rod three sixty minus of x. Yeah. Then. Fifty x equal to three six the three six zero double zero minus of hundred x. Then one fifty fifty x. Plus hundred x equal to three six double zero. Then one fifty x equal to this one is equal equal to three six triple zero. Then X equal to three six double zero divided by one fifty. So zero zero cancel. Then three six double zero divided by fifteen. Three six double zero divided by fifteen is equal to how much? Two forty. This one is equal to. Two forty mm. Then x equal to two forty mm. Means here you can see that 
the magnitude already find out the resultant of the force then the point where the act the point where the act the 240 mm from point a so how much distance is equal to 240 so 240 mm point from point a the resultant force where the resultant force act therefore this one is the calculating answer I think you understand it is very simple problem for understanding the locations of the uh, resultant force and the magnitude or the parallel like to likely parallel force acting over the beam or a rod so I think you understand uh, thank you very much for watching and next lecture we can see the more problem for the this like of forces. Thank you.